أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمد هو ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اولم يعلموا ان الله يبسط الرزق لمن يشاء ويقدر ان في ذلك لايات لقوم يؤمنون صدق الله العظيم سو نون دي سي ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى how spreads the sustenance for whomsoever he likes or restricts or spreads it to whomsoever he likes he gives a lot of this world and for others he diminishes these things in the fizalik al ayat li qaumi yumanun surely in this are the signs for those people who believe قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْلَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ This is very important ayah of the Qur'an. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to my servants, يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا O my servants who have transgressed against your own selves, you have done injustice to your own selves by committing sins. لَا تَقْلَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Don't be despaired and disappointed from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ ذُنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Verily, Allah will forgive the sins altogether. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Surely, He is the forgiving, the merciful. You have to make tawbah only, sincere tawbah. If you repent and you make a firm resolve that now, We shall not, I will not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sins that you might have committed. وَعَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَاسْلِمُوا لَهُ And turn penitently unto your Lord and submit yourself before Him. مِنْ قَبْلِ اَنْ يَعْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ سُمَّ لَا تُنْسَرُونَ Before that time, that the chastisement of Allah comes to you. And then there will be no help for you. When you know the signs of that azab of Allah, just chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come, then even if you say we believe, then it's no avail. وَالتَّبِعُوا أَحْسَلَ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ And follow the best of what has been sent down to you. مِنْ رَبَّكُمْ from your Lord. مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَعْتِ يَكُمْ عَذَابُ بَقْتَةً Before that time that the chastisement of your Lord comes upon you suddenly, vantu la tashurun, and you will have no idea that the chastisement is coming from this side. Anta kula nafsun ya hasrata ala ma farra tu fi jambilla. Lest a soul should say, "Alas for me, for which I have been undutiful towards my Allah." Pa in kun to lamina saakhirin and very liye, I kept. Among those who were mocking, laughing, I never took it seriously. What Muhammad was saying, <coughs> sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Aw taqula," or the soul might say, "Law anna lana, law anna Allah adani lakun tu min al-muttaqin." If Allah subhanahu wa taala has given me the guidance, had given me the guidance, I would have become a guided person, a fear, not fearing person. Aw taqula hi na tar al-azab. Or the soul should say, when will she will see that this is the chastisement of Allah before his eyes? Now Annali Karratan would that I could be returned once. Fakun Amin Al Mursalin, then I will become the excellent mousman of my Lord. Bull, bala bala kajat kaayati. Why not? But to you, our signs had come. 
فکذبتا بہا یو بلائٹ دم بس تک بڑھتا اینڈ یو شوڈ ایروگنس وکنتا من الکافرین اینڈ یو ہیڈ بیکم اینڈ چوز یو ہیڈ چوزن ٹو بیکم ون آف دی ڈس بلیورس و یوم القیامت تر الزین کذب والا وجوہ ہم اینڈ آن دی ڈے آف ریزرکشن یو ول سی دوز ہو لائڈ اگینسٹ اللہ وجوہ ہم مسودہ دیئر فیسز بی بلیکنڈ علیہ صفی جہنم مسول للمتکبرین is there not the hell a proper abode for these people who are arrogant in this world wa yunji allah allazina taqaw bi mafazatihim and allah will save those who had taqwa who had fear in their hearts and he will take them to their places of salvation la yabassu musu no evil would be able to touch them just touch them wala hum yazanun nor they will grieve allah khaliqu kulli shay Allah is the creator of everything. Wahu ala kulli shayin wakil. And He is the guardian of everything. Lahu maqali udu samawati wal lard. To Him belong the keys of the heavens and the earth. Walazina kafaru bi ayatillah. As for those who disbelieve in the revelation of Allah. Ulai kahumul khasirun. Surely they are the losers. Now in the last two sections of this surah al-Mubarakah. In a very majestic way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing some events which will be there on the eve of As-Sa'ah, then Al-Qiyabah, then you know the decisions, and then a scene from the hell, another scene from the paradise. As-Sa'ah Al-Qiyabah, I explained one day. Asa is the doomsday, when everything will be destroyed, every living creature will be dead. This is Asa. But then there will be a gap. We don't know how much, how long a gap. But then there will be the Al-Qiyamah, resurrection, the second creation. And then that is called the day of resurrection, day of Qiyamah. Everybody would be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is called the Yawm Al-Qiyamah. And then you know, the reckoning of whatever every soul has earned, and then the decisions. قُلْ أَفَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ تَعْمُرُونِ عَبْدُ وَيُّهَ الْجَاهِلُونَ Say to them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, Do you command me also that I should worship anybody else except Allah? O the ignorant ones, ایوہ الجاہلون this is the only place in Quran in this harsh word has been used ایوہ الجاہلون oh the ignorant ones you command me also that I should worship someone else besides Allah وَلَقَدْ وُعْيَا إِلَيْكَ although it has been already revealed to you وَيْلَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ and not only you also those messengers who are before you لَئِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ O Muhammad even if you commit shirk, if you associate anybody with me, all of your good deeds will go in vain. And you will also become one of the losers. This law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so fixed, nobody is exempt. Even the beloved of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even if, supposedly, supposedly, because it is impossible that he could have committed any shirk, but you know, to emphasize the point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَرْنَ عَمَلَكْ وَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Even if you commit some sort of shirk, then all your good deeds, all the endeavor, all the struggle that you have been making in our in our way, will go in vain, futile. Bari Allah fa'abud. Nay. But only Allah you should worship. Wa kum mina shakirin. And be among the grateful. Wa ma qadar Allah ka qadri. We have read these words in Surah Al-Hajj also in the last section. And they esteem not Allah with the true esteem due to Him. They couldn't imagine how powerful Allah is. How 
how much is his creative potential, whatever what he can create. They cannot have any estimate. So they cannot esteem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh, to that level, true esteem due to him. Now there is an idea is being given of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as powerful. Wal arzu jami'an qabzatuhu yawbal qiyamah. Your, this world, this earth, will be in his, in his one hand on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection. This full earth will be in one grip of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wal arzu jami'an qabzatuhu yawbal qiyamah. وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ مَطْوِيَّاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ And all the heavens will be wrapped round his right arm. This we have read before also. يَوْمَ نَتْمِ سَمَاءَ كَتَيِّ السِّجِلْ لِلِلْ كُتُبْ Just as these galaxies, you know, the theory of expanding universe, expanding, 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 expanding. But then a time will come, it will retract, retract, retract. And these will be wrapped all this khala, all this space, all these heavens, all these galaxies will be wrapped round his right arm. Now these are ayat e mutashabihat. We can't imagine, we can't fix any concept of this thing. But the words are here, divine words, they are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ma qadarullah haqqa qadri wal arzu jami'an qabzatuhu yawm al qiyamati wa samawatu matwiyyatun bi yameenih. Subhanahu wa ta'ala amma yushrikoon. Glory is for him. And he is much higher, higher, higher than what they associate with him. Those things are very low. He is much higher above these things. Wadufiqa fissur. Now comes the as-sa'ah. And the trumpet will be blown. Fasayqa man fi samawate wa man fi l-ard. So all who will be in the heavens and in the earth, they will all become unconscious. Illa man sha Allah, except those whom Allah wills. This idea I don't come. I don't remember in which surah we have read it. Maybe the Hamalatul Arsh, the angels which are bearing the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Maybe they are exempt. Maybe Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, maybe some other uh, messengers of Allah they might be exempt. Or all the others will fall down unconscious. But if you have a surah, for say, "Come on, fit some about the woman, fill her the illa man shalla." Summa no fit of he will hurrah, and then again the trumpet will be blown. And I told you, we can't say what will be the you know time period in between the two. Asa. And Al Qiyama, they are two different events, not one. In general talk, you know, we use these words in place of each other as having the same meanings. No, Asa is the doomsday when you know these mountains will move and everybody will die, and you know there will be the moon will go into the sun. But you may ask Shams of Al Qamar, all these things will happen. This is Asa. Ya yo nasu takura bakum in the zalda la tasa te shayun azim. This is the zalzala, this is the earthquake that will take place. Everything will shake. But then there will be a time period in between these. And again, you know, nofiqa fihe ukhra, again there will be a trumpet blown, and then everybody will come up from their graves and wherever they will be. Faizahum qiyamun yanzurun. And lo, behold, they will be standing, staring and seeing. Because they will be standing, that is why it is called yawbul qiyamah. The day of standing, Qiyamah means, Qiyam means to stand. Qiyamul Layl. So what is it? Yawmul Qiyamah. When all human beings will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that last judgment. وَاشْرَقَتِلْ دُو أَرْضُ بِنُورِ رَبِّهَا And this earth will shine with the light of your Lord. Why? We have it in the last part of Quran in Surah Al-Fajr. وَجَا رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا This earth will be flattened. دُكَّتِ الْأَرْضُ دَكَّنْ دَكَّا There will be no mountains, nothing of this sort. All plain earth. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down. We can't say how. 
But Ya Rabbu Kawal Malak Usafan Safa. Your Lord will also come. And the angels will come. In lines, you know. In ranks and lines. Here it is also when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends on this earth, this earth would be lit up, lightened. It will shine. And the earth will shine with the light of the of its Lord. And then the record of the deeds of human beings would be placed. Today we can say it might be a very giant computer. One button and the life film of every of that individual is playing before you. All the events. All the words that he uttered in his 80 years or 90 years life, all preserved. Everything is there. You only need to press one button and the film will start. Prabhuji al-Kitab, Vaji abin nabi yi shuhada and then the prophets and the witnesses will be called. Those who were sent as messengers, they will come and testify, O Allah, your message which came to us through Jibreel, we had conveyed to these people. Now they are responsible. And then between them everything will be decided with truth, justice. No injustice would be done to anybody. And no one will be wronged. No injustice will be done to anybody. And every soul will be given back in full what it had earned. Good for good, bad for bad. And he verily, very well knows what they are doing. All their deeds, all their actions, all their words that they are uttering are being recorded. And as I said many times, today to understand these things and to believe in these things is easy. We see the words being recorded. There might be a, you know, tape recorder of the size of a button. Attached to your court, and you do never know that you are having a dialogue with a person and your dialogue is being recorded. You never know it. In this same way, Allah is recording, and there are the angels who are recording everything. Now we can easily understand it. Those who disbelieved, they will be driven to the help in groups and squadrons. Hatta iza jauha, till such that when they will come there, arrive at Jahannam, Fotihatabuha, then its gates will be opened. It's like the jail. The gates of jails, prisons, they keep closed, locked. They are open only when either some is going to be released or some new prisoners are coming. Hatta iza jauha, fotihatabuha, wakala lahum khazanatuha. And then the keepers of that hell would say to these people, Alam yatekum rosulum minkum? Didn't the messengers come to you? Yatluna alaykum ayate rabbikum? Reciting unto you the revelations of your Lord? Vayunzirunakum lika yobikum haza? And warning you of the meeting, your meeting of this day? Kalu bala. They will say yes. They did come. But the word of chastisement has proved true against the disbelievers. That is, we disbelieved. We said nothing. We never paid any attention or heed to them. So those keepers of hell would say, Okay, then enter. Enter the gates of this hell. To abide here forever. So evil is the abode of the arrogant. Now the opposite scene. Wasika Lazina Takaura Bahumila Janate Zumara. And those who fear their Lord will be led to the garden in groups. Hatta Ida Jauha till that when they will come there, arrive there, Wafote Hata Bhagwaha. And its gate would be already open. You know, of a guest house, gates are already open. Ready to welcome you. But of a jail or prison, 
the gates are closed. So as for the prison, when they come, the gates will open. But here, when they arrive, the gates will already be open for them. And now the keepers of garden, they will say to them, Salamun alaikum, peace be upon you. Tibtum, you fared well. You are successful. Fadkhuluha khalidin. So now enter this garden to abide there forever, forever. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي صَدَقَنَا وَعْدَهُ And when then these people have entered the paradise, they would say, All praise belongs to Allah, who has made His promises to us come true. He promised us Jannah and He has fulfilled His promise. وَعَوْرَ سَمَ الْأَرْضِ And He had inherited the land to us. He had made us inherit the land. Now there can be two meanings. Number one is that the nuzul that I described sometimes in the past, the immediate, you know, what is given to a guest when he arrives. So that is nuzul. So that nuzul of Jannah will be over this very earth. So the people of the Jannah will inherit this world. Or Asam al Allah has made us the inheritors, inheritors of this, this earth. And the second meaning is that this is the earth of the paradise. That He has made us inherit the earth, the land of paradise. So that we can dwell here wherever we wish. So very good will be the reward of these people who did good deeds. Now this is the, which we call the stop scene. Now final scene. You will see the angels surrounding the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will be glorifying their Lord with His praise. And among them also, everything will be decided with truth. There can be differences of opinion among the Malayka also. But then at that day, those will also be settled. And in the end, the words will be called, Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as in India we say, Jai, Rakri, Jai, everything done. And the last, you know, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Praise to Allah who is the Lord of all the worlds. Next surah, Surah Al-Mumin. And the other name is Surah Al-Ghafir. This surah has two names. Al-Mumin, Al-Ghafir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hameem. Now from here starts a series of surahs, eight, seven surahs, starting with Hameem. Six with only Hamim and one Hamim and Seen Qaf. Surat al Shura. Hamim Tanzil al Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Alim. If you remember, the former Surah, Surat al Zumar, started with Tanzil al Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Hakim. Now, the only one word has changed. Tanzil al Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Alim. There was Hakim, here is Ali. Otherwise the ayah is the same. The sending down of this book, the revelation of this book is coming from Allah who is Al-Aziz, All-Powerful, Al-Halim, very forbearing. Ghafir is Zamb. He is the forgiver of the sin. Waqabil is Taub. The acceptor of repentance. Shadeed al iqab Very severe in punishment. Zittal, Lord of Bounty. Now these are the four attributes of Allah. But here these are in complex, not one word. Allah's names are in one word. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Qadir. But here, Kafir is Zamb, the forgiver of the sin. Waqabili Tawb, and acceptor of the repentance. Shadeed al-Iqab. Zittal, Lord of Bounty, 
is no God except Him. Ilahil Masir. And to Him will be the return. Majid Ajaru fi ayat illah illa lazina kafaru. Nobody disputes regarding the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except those who have put disbelief. فَلَا يَغْرُرْكَ تَقَلُّبُهُمْ فِي الْبِلَادِ So they are going to and fro in the land that not deceive you. They are going there. They are taking the caravan to Syria, caravan now going to uh, Yemen, etc., etc. But all this, you know, going to and fro, you should not be overawed. Don't be impressed. It should not deceive you. كَذَّبَتْ قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمُ Before them, the people knew, people of Nuh also disbelieved and belied. And many nations after them also. The Hud, nation of Hud, nation of Saleh, nation of Shoaib, and the cities of Gomorrah and Sodom, and so on and so forth. And every Ummah plotted to seize their messenger, the Yaquduhu to kill him or to expel him from their cities. And they disputed with falsehood so that they can somehow rebut thereby the truth. Then I seized them all. So how was my punishment? How I punish the people of Nuh? How I punish the people of Hud? How I punish the people of Saleh? How I destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? How I described, des destroyed the people of Shreb? And this true word of your Lord has become applied to these disbelievers also from Quraysh. They are disbelieving, rejecting your call. So it is applicable to them also. Annahum ashabun nar. That they are also the dwellers of the fire. Alladina yahmilul arsh. Another very beautiful scene. The angels who bear the throne of their Lord. Waman haulahu. And those who are around that. You know the scene with which Surah Al-Zumar ended. Here we have it in the beginning. There are there is the throne, there are angels who are bearing the throne of Lord, and then around are so many angels. They are glorifying all the time their Lord with His praise. And have full trust and faith in Him. And they ask... Go on asking, keep on asking the Lord forgiveness for those in the world who have come to believe. So we can rejoice. The angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might be asking His forgiveness for us at this very time. Oh Allah, your servants sitting in a mosque, in an Islamic center, reading, trying to understand your book. Rabbana wasirta kulla shayin rahmatan wa ilma. Oh Lord, you have encompassed everything with your knowledge as well as mercy. Faghfir lillazina tabu. So please forgive those, those human beings who have repented. But tabau sabilaka. And now they are following your path. Vakihim azab al jaheen. And save them from the chastisement of the hell. Tabana wa adhil hum jannati abdin illati wa adhahum. And our Lord, please admit them, make them enter those gardens of perpetual bliss which you have promised to them. And not only them, Waman Salahamina Abayim wa Azwajim wa Zubiyatim. And also with them, the righteous among their fathers and wives and offsprings. Inna ka anta al Azizul Hakim. Verily, you are. All powerful, you have the authority. If the father is also from Ashabul Jannah, he has passed the test, declared he is successful, but he is not of the level of the son. 
This son had to go to a higher paradise. But now, for the sake of this son, the level of the father will be raised. In the same way of the sons. But they should be, they should have passed, you know, they should have succeeded in, the, in, in, in that balance and in that interrogation and accountability. Vakehimu sayyat, save them from evil things. Vaman taqi sayyat, yaw mayazin faqir rahim ta. And whomsoever you save from these evil things that day, so you have verily shown your mercy on him. Vazalika huwa al-fadul azim, and definitely it is the biggest success. Inna ladhina kafaru yunadon. As for those who had, who had rejected the faith, who had disbelieved, they will be called la maktullahi akbaru min maktikum anfusakum. The hatred that you have today, from this hatred, the hatred of Allah was much greater. Is to the honor of the man. Leave the takfurun, and you were refusing to believe. So Allah hated you at that time. Now that you are in the hell, and you are hating yourself, where I have come. So Allah was more hateful of you. When you were called to believe, and you rejected, Balu, they will say, "Rabbana amatta nasdatain, O our Lord, you made us die twice, wa ahiyi tanasdatain, and then you gave us life twice. Fatarafna bi dunu bina, so now we confess our guilt, our sins." فَهَلْ إِلَىٰ خُرُوجِ مِنْ سَبِيلِ Is there any way to get out of here? This is one of the most difficult but very important ayat of the Qur'an. Twice put to death, twice revived. How? Generally in Qur'an we have one, one death which will come to us and then we shall be revived. That is the only revival. No. We were put to death before also, and we were revived before also. Our first creation was in the form of the spirits. When that covenant was taken from us, we were all present from Adam till the last man, the souls or spirits of all of them were present over there. Then we were made to sleep. This was the first death put to us. And then, you know, in this Alam al-Khalq, the world of creation, now when a fetus is ready after four months in the womb of the mother, now his soul is brought there by an angel and blown into him. This is Ihya. Now it has come to life. First life was dead, when we were spirits only. We slept. It was the first death. And now we have come here. We open our eyes in this world. This is the life of souls plus this body. Then a death will come. These two things will separate. Body will go to the earth. مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَعْرَةً نُخْرَىٰ But the soul will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللَّهُ يَتَوَفَّ الْأَنفُ سَعِينَ مَوْتِهَا We have just read in Surah Al-Zumar. And then a day will come when we shall be given another body and then our soul will be attached to it. That will be the second revival. Now what these are saying is that these four, five, you know, stages have passed. Because before first death there was life. When we made that covenant with you, Alastome Rabbekum, Karu Bala, well we were self-conscious. We were living. We were not dead. So there was life, then death, then life, then death, then life now again. So if we have passed five phases, oh Allah, let there be another sixth phase also. You just let us go out once. Hal ila khurujim min sabil, zalikum bi annahu iza dui Allahu wahdahu kafartum. The answer will be negative. No. Why? When Allah was called for, called upon, you be lied. You reject it. When you shrank me to menu. And if some 
sort of association was described with him, you believed in that. فَالْحُكْمُ لِلَّهِ الْعَلِيِّ الْكَبِيرِ Now the command and the judgment rests with Allah, who is high and the great. هُوَ الَّذِي يُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ It is He who shows you His signs. وَيُنَزِّرُ لَكُمْ مِنَ السَّوَاءِ رِزْقَ And He is sent down from, from the heaven, the sustenance for you. وَمَا يَتْزَكَّرُوا إِلَّا مَنْ يُنِيبُ And only those are admonished who turn penitently to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now comes the ayah which is the main central theme of this surah. And this is dua. The theme of the last surah was ibadah. فَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Ibadah in a way that you keep the absolute obedience for Allah alone. Deserved. But as there are ahadith, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ad-du'a'u mukhul ibadah. Dua is the essence of ibadah. Ad-du'a'u huwa al-ibadah. Actually, dua is the real ibadah. So now dua should be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to none else. If you call anybody else, it is shirk. Dua has to be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this dua is acceptable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only when you have made your obedience exclusively for Him. If you are committing shirk, then He doesn't listen to your prayers. What to say of granting your prayers, accepting your prayers? He doesn't listen. First of all, you have to be muwahid in your actions, in your deeds. La no obedience to anyone among the creatures in which there is a disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unless you can pass this test, your dua, it goes in vain. Nobody listens. And that is why our prayers are not granted by Allah. What happened in 1971? How many? Not only in Pakistan and Bangladesh, also in the Haramain, the Haram of Bakka and Haram of Madina. But did Allah come to our help? No. Dhaka fell. Pakistan bifurcated. A very humiliating defeat. What happened to the Arabs in 1967? What is happening today? While I was coming to the United States, I passed through Saudi Arabia, performed Umrah. Every day, dua qunut in Medina and Makkah both. For these peoples, the evildoers, the jahud, but Allah is not listening. Did you establish our system? No. Qul al-kitab lastum ala shayin hata tuqimu tawrat awal injil. This is the ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah. Oh, Muhammad, tell them, Oh, people of the book, you have no face to talk to us, to pray to us, unless you establish Torah and Injil and what has been revealed and sent down to you. In the same way, substitute the word Quran in the place of Kitab. Qul ya ala al-Quran, lastum ala shayin hatta taqim al-Qurana, wa ma'udhila alaykum bin rabbikum. You have no face. To pray to us, unless you establish Quran and what has been sent down for you. Have we established Quran somewhere? No. Anyhow, this Umud. فَدْعُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْكَافِرُونَ So pray to Allah, call upon Allah. But the condition is that you should keep your obedience, absolute obedience, exclusive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then only Allah will listen to your prayers and grant your prayers. The few darajat, He is the one who raises the levels. The few darajat ranks. Zulash, He is the Lord of the throne. Yulkin ruha min amrihi ala man yasha. He sends down the spirit from his command, that is revelation, wahi. Allah may yashaw in ibadihi, or whomsoever he wants from his bondsmen, his servants. 
لے یون زرا یوم الطلاق سو دیٹ ہی شوڈ وان دی پیپل آف دی ڈے آف میٹنگ وین یو ول ہیو ٹو میٹ یور لارڈ یوم ہوم بار زون وین دے ول بی اسٹینڈنگ بیفور اللہ لا یخفا اللہ من ہم شہی نتھنگ فرام دیم ول بی ہڈن فرام اللہ ایوری تھنگ ول بی ان دی آئز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی لمن الملک اليوم and then someone would cry to whom belongs the sovereignty today in the world you had claimed sovereignty for yourself you are sovereigns we will elect our representatives and they can frame laws whatever they like we don't know what is the divine law what is the sharia what allah says what allah has prohibited what allah has declared haram no reference to it But to whom belongs the sovereignty today? Leman il mulk ul yom. The Allah il wahid il qahar. This will be the reply from all present over there. Sovereignty and kingship today belongs only to Allah. He is the one, the only one, and the omnipotent. Al yom atujda kul nafsi mima kasabat. Then it will be announced today. Every soul will be recompensed what it has done. La zulm al yom. Today there will going to be no injustice to anybody. In Allah sariyul hisab. Verily Allah is very swift in reckoning. Wa anzirum yom al azifa. And O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you please warn them of the day. which is approaching near coming day by day each day it is approaching idil qulub wal adil hanajir qadimin when the hearts will reach the throats and they will be choked choked with grief mal is zalimin min hamim for these evil doers there will be no friend wala shafin yuta nor any intercessor who would be obeyed whose intercession would be compulsory on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh, no not at all no, nobody ya alamu khaynat al ayun he knows the treachery of the eyes whatever you have seen maybe other people have not seen what you have seen but allah knows what you have seen ya alamu khaynat al ayun wama tufis sudur and whatsoever is is hidden in the hearts and the chests wallahu yaqzi bil haqq and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge with truth and justice wal ladina yad'una min dunihi la yaqzuna bi shay as for those whom they associate with ignorance with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will not be able to judge anything at all in allah huwa samiul basir verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who listen everything and sees everything awalam yasiru fil ard fa yanzuru kayfa kana aqibatu al ladina kanu min qablihi have they not traveled in the land and seen see for themselves seen for themselves what was the end of those people who were before them the people of ad and samud etc etc kanu hum ashadda minhum quwwatan they were much more mightier than them in power wa asaran fil ard and they left in the uh, in the land fa akhadhahum allah bi dhunubihim but then allah sees them due to their sins baba kana lahum min allah min waq and there was nobody who could save them from allah's punishment zalik bi annahum kana taatihim rusulun bil bayyinat and this happened because to them their messengers came with clear signs and clear teachings fa kafaru but they denied they refused to accept fa akhadhahum allah so allah sees them innahu qawiyyun shadidul iqab verily he is strong severe in retribution and punishment wa laqad arsalna musa bi ayatina wa sultanin mubin ila fir'auna wa hamana wa qaruna and we have sent musa alayhi salatu was salam with our signs and a clear authority to fir'aun and haman and qarun fa qalu sahirun kazzab they said he is a sorcerer magician and a liar fa lamma ja'u bil haqq min indina and when the to them came the when he came to them with truth from us qaluq tulu abna allazina amanu they said kill the sons of those who believe in him 
وستحیون ساؤں کیپ الائف دی ویمن وما کہد الکافرین اللہ فی ضلال بٹ دی پلاننگ آف دی ڈس بلیورز از باؤنڈ ٹو فیل وقال فرعون نو دس از اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ایونٹ آف دی اسٹوری آف فرعون اینڈ موسا علیہ الصلوۃ والسلام دیر واز اے ٹائم ان دی بگننگ وین دی پیپل ہیڈ آس فرعون ٹو کل موسا بٹ ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم دی نیچرل لو دیٹ ہی ہیڈ بیکاز بوتھ آف دیم ور براٹ اپ ان دی پیلس ایز بردرس موسا واز لائک این ایلڈر بردر ٹو دیٹ فرعون ہی سیڈ نو ہی کین ناٹ ڈو اینی ہارم ٹو اس وائی ٹو کل ہم اوکے ایف یو فیئر سم تھنگ وی شیل کل دیئر نیو بارن میل بیبیز اینڈ اونلی کیپ اے لائف دی فیمیلس بٹ ناؤ ایٹ اسٹیج لیٹر اسٹیج ناؤ فرعون ہم سیلف تھاٹ دیٹ ناؤ انف از انف now musa should be killed but he had smelled somehow that among his own chieftains someone was there who had sided with musa, musa alayhi salam so now he put a resolution in his court this is meant here and then you know a person who was from the nation of firon he had come to believe in musa alayhi salatu wassalam and he has kept his iman his faith hidden up till this time But when this came up, that we resolved to kill him, then he stood up and he made a lecture, delivered a lecture, a sermon. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this sermon so much importance that no sermon of even any messenger of Allah has been reported in Quran in this length in which you will find the sermon of that person who was from the nation of Fir'aun, who had only come to believe in Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. But his speech is given in detail over here. Very beautiful. وَقَالَ فِرَعَوْنُ ضَرُورِي أَقْتُلْ مُوسَى And Fir'aun said, now allow me that I should kill Musa. وَلْيَدُ رَبَّهُ And if he has any lord, actually, he can call him. إِنِّي أَخَافْ وَيُبَدِّ لَدِينَكُمْ Now I fear. He will change your deen. أَوْ وَيُزْهِرَ فِي الْأَرْضِ الْفَسَادِ Or he will create some other mischief in the land. وَقَالَ مُوسَى And Musa said, alayhi salatu wa salam, inni usto bi rabbi wa rabbikum. I take the refuge of my Lord and your Lord. Min kulli mutakabbirin. Against every arrogant person. La yuminu bi yawmil hisab. Who doesn't believe in the day of judgment. Wa qala rajulun mu'minun min ali fir'aun. Now from here starts the lecture or sermon of the person. Wa qala rajulun mu'minun min ali fir'aun. Now a believer from among the nation of Fir'aun, Yaktomo Imanahu, who had been hiding his Iman up till now. He never declared. But now he thought that critical moment has come. Now I should start up, stand up. And what did he say? Attaqtuluna rajulana yakula rabbi Allah. Do you want to kill a person only because he says my Lord is Allah? وَقَدْ جَاكُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ He has brought clear signs to you from your Lord. He came with miracles. He has shown you nine miracles. فَإِيَّكُ قَاذِمًا فَعَلَيْهِ قَذِبُ If he is a liar, well, this lie will come over him. He will repent. He will have the bad result of kizb. وَإِيَّكُ سَعَدِقًا But supposedly, if he is true, Whatever he is saying is correct. Yusim kum baadul lazi yaidu kum. Then what he threatens will come to you, will definitely come to you. Inna la la yahdi man huwa muslifun kazzaab. Verily Allah doesn't guide those who are prodigal and liars. Ya qawme, O my nation, O my people, lakumul mulkul yawm. Today you have the sovereignty. You have the power. Zahirina fil ard. You are Powerful in this land. But who will be able to save us from the chastisement of Allah in Jana if it comes to us? Ta'ala Fir'aun. Now Fir'aun said, and you watch these words. Ta'ala Fir'aun, ma aurikum illa ma'ara, wa ma ahdikum illa sabila rashad. I show to you what I see. My opinion, I have presented before you. 
and I guide you only to the right path. He is insisting on what he proposed, that Musa should be killed. But he is not so forceful. He is seeing that the speech of that woman of Ali Firaun has some effect on the courtiers. And that person continues and said the person who had believed, Ya qawmi inni akhafu alaykum isla yawm al ahsab. O my people, I fear for you that the chastisements which came to the former nation might come to you. Misla da'abi qawmi nuh. The like of the case of the people of nuh. Wa adin wa samuda. And adin samud. Wa lazina min ba'dayim. And those who were after them. Wa ma allahu yuridu zulman lil ibad. And definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not intend any injustice to his servants. Wa ya qawm. O my nation, inni akhafu alaykum yawm al-tanad. I fear about you. A day will come when there will be who and cry. And nobody will be listening to anybody else. Yawm al-tawalluna mudbirin. On the day when you will turn back, when you will turn away on your backs. Ma lakum min allahi min aasim. But there will be none who could, who would be able to save you from Allah. وَمَنْ يُبْلِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ حَادِ And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray, for him there is no guider to the right path. وَلَقَدْ جَاكُمْ يُوسُفُ مِنْ قَبْلِ The speech is continuing. To you, Yusuf came, مِنْ قَبْلِ, before. Now there is a, you know, period of about 400 years between the times of Yusuf alayhi salam and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. He came to you with clear signs. فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكِّ مِمَّا جَاكُمْ But you continued doubting about what he brought to you. حَتَّى إِذَا هَلَكَ Till that time that he died, when he died, قُلْتُمْ You said, لَنْ يَبْعَصَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رَسُولًا After him, Allah is not going to send any messenger. And they came to know that he was a messenger. But they never believed that he was a messenger during the life of Hazrat Yusuf a.s. كَذَلِكَ يُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ هُوَ مُسْرِفُ الْمُرْتَابِ In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray who is prodigal and doubter. الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ سُلْتَانِ عَطَاهُمْ Who dispute the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any authority that Allah might have given them. كَبُرَ بَقْتًا إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَإِنْدَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And this is very hateful in the eyes of Allah and in the eyes of those who believe كَذَلِكَ يَتْبَعُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ قَلْبِ مُتَكَبِّرٍ جَبَّارٍ And in this way, Allah Ta'ala puts a seal on the heart of every person who is arrogant and aggressive. وَقَالَ فِرَعُونُ يَا حَمَانُ بْنُ لِي سَرْحَنْ لَعَلِي عَبْدُهُ الْأَسْبَابِ Now this speech of that moment is continuing. But in between, this Fir'aun is interjecting. قَالَ فِرَعُونَ and said Fir'aun, يَا حَمَانُ O Haman, he was the minister of constructions, public works. Ya Haman ibn Ali Sarhan, build a tower for me. Lali ablu al asbab, so that I may reach the roads, the roads of the heavens, samawat. For atalya ila ila Musa, and I will try to look upon the Lord of Moses. By ni razun hu kaziba. As far as I think, he is a liar. He is telling a lie. There is no Lord except myself. وَكَذَلِكَ زُوِّنَ لِفِرْعَوْنَ سُوْهُ عَمَلِهِ And in this way, the evil actions of Fir'aun were made beautiful for him. وَسُدَّ عَنِ السَّبِيلِ And he was prevented, barred from the right part of Allah. وَمَا كَذُ فِرْعَوْنَ إِلَّا فِي تَبَابِ But all the plannings of Fir'aun, they were not but to go in vain and in ruin. وَقَالَ الَّذِي آمَنَا Again, continuing, the same believers. Moment. Ya qawm et tabi'uni. Oh my people, you follow me. Adekum sabil al-rashad. I will guide you to this, to the path of success. Ya qawm e innama hazihi al-hayatul dunya mata. Oh my people, oh my nation. This world, this life of this world is just a passing enjoyment and nothing else. Wa inna dar al-akhirat ahiya dar al-qarar. And verily, the abode of the hereafter is of eternity. مَنْ عَمِلَ سَيِّئَةً فَلَا يُجْزَى إِلَّا مِسْلَحَا Whosoever commits something bad, evil, 
He will not be recompensed, but equal evil. Not more than that. وَمَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ زَكَرٍ نَعُنْسَى وَهُوْ مُؤْمِنٌ And whosoever does good deeds, whether male or female, but he or she must be a mu'min, believer one. فَأُولَائِكَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ They will enter the paradise. يُرْزَقُونَ فِيهَا بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ and they will be given, provided sustenance there, without any limits. وَيَا قَوْمِ مَا لِي أَدْعُوكُ مِلَ النَّجَاتِ مَتَدُونَ نِيلَ النَّارِ Oh my people, what is it? I am calling you towards salvation, and you are calling me towards fire, fire of hell. تَدْعُونَ نِي لِأَكْفُرَ بِاللَّهِ You want that I should commit kufr, disbelief with Allah. وَأُشْلِكَ بِهِ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِهِ عِلْمٍ and associate with him that for which I have no knowledge. وَعَنَا عَدْعُوكُمْ إِلَى الْعَزِيزِ الْغَفَّارِ And I am calling you towards the one who is all-powerful and who is the forgiver. لَا جَلَمَا أَنَّمَا تَدُونَنِي لَهِ لَيْسَ لَهُ دَعْوَةٌ فِي الدُّنِيَا وَلَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ There is no doubt that those to whom you are calling me to worship have no claim to be invoked in this world nor in the hereafter. وَأَنَّ مَرَدَّنَا إِلَى اللَّهِ And that our return is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَنَّ الْمُسْلِفِينَ هُوَ الْأَصْحَابُ النَّارِ And no doubt that those people who exceed the limits, they will be the dwellers of fire. فَسَتَذْكُرُونَ مَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ Very soon you will remember what I said to you. If you don't follow me, the chastisement of Allah will overtake you. A time will come when they were all drowning. They must have remembered that a person from amongst ourselves, ourselves, he had given us the good advice only if we had listened to him. Whatever I am saying to you, a time will come very soon when you will remember. And I entrust my affair to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Allah basirum bil ibad, verily, Allah sees his bondsmen and servants. Now this could happen to him also, which happened to those, to that person about whom we have read in Surah Yasin. When he came and he said that I come to believe in these messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the nation at once killed him. But here it seems this person had so much influence that he made, made this speech in the court and the whole court seemed as if they nearly accepted what he was saying. And Firon now couldn't insist, and that resolution of killing Hazrat Musa could not be carried. For Waqahu Allahu Sayyati Babakaru. So Allah saved him from the evil of their plannings. And whom? Allah saved Moses also, Musa alayhi salam. And Allah saved also this believer from the people of Firon. For Waqahu Allahu Sayyati Babakaru. Wahaqa bi ala Firon asu al azab. And the worst punishment came and encompassed the people of Fir'aun. And this, this was their end. Annaru yaw razuna alayha wudubwa mu'ashiyya. On the fire of hell, they are presented day and night. Wa yawma taqoomu sa'ah, or the day when the, that hour will come, the day of judgment will come. Adkhilu ala Fir'aun ashad al-azab. Then it will be said, that make, enter these people and throw them in the worst punishment. This is another place in the Quran which confirms that before the day of judgment also, in Qabr we say, Azab al-Qabr, there is some chastisement which people will get and people are getting even now. Because in Surah Al-Furqan we read, Yuzaf lahu al-Azab yawm al-Qiyamah. His chastisement will be doubled on the day of judgment. But does mean before that also some sort of chastisement was coming to them. Here also, Annaru Yorazuna Aleha Wudubu Mashiya. And this is what the Prophet has said in his hadith that when some person is buried in the grave, either you know a small window is opened to his grave from hell, so that you know very hot winds come on blowing. Not real hell hell, but wind from the hell is coming. Or a window from the garden of paradise, so that cool breeze is coming there. 
This continues till the day of judgment. But then the final day of judgment will come, and then they will enter hell, and they will enter the paradise. Annaru yoraduna aleha guduvan vashiya. Vayama takumusa. The day that hour will come. Adkhilu ala fir'aun ashad al azab. Then it will be said that now you throw this people of Fir'aun in the worst and the severest punishment. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakim. Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.